The first step to convert our bicycle into an electric one is to build the drive mechanism. Now the motor that we are going to use to power this bicycle is a geared DC motor that we found from scrap and later we found out that that motor is used to power automatic doors. So first of all we are going to figure out how we can drive the rear wheel of the bicycle so let's get into the project. Now we are going to use this metal ring that we have cut down using a 2 inch diameter metal pipe to act as a spacer between the disc brake and this is pocket. So let's weld them together. So guys finally we are done with the mechanical part of the project that is to connect the motor to the frame and drive the rear wheel of the bicycle. But now we are going to need a battery pack and for that we are going to use these lithium ion cells that we have extracted from those old hoverboard batteries. So let's build the battery pack. So guys our drive mechanism is ready and our battery pack is up. 
Now what we are going to need is a powerful speed controller that can limit the amount of energy flowing from the battery pack to the motor and eventually help us to control the speed of the bicycle. But the problem is that our battery pack is rated at 84 volts and we are unable to find a speed controller that can handle such high voltage. So what we have done in our previous project video is to build a customized pulse width modulation speed controller that can control the speed of such large scale DC motors. So I'll link that video right over here. Go visit that out for more detailed information. Now we are going to mount the speed controller right on the handle and customize it according to our needs. Those customized printed circuit boards are provided by PCBWay and they are just flawless. Well, I would love to thank PCBWay for making this project video possible for all of us. They are one of the largest PCB manufacturer in China and they are providing a wide range of services for manufacturing your customized printed circuit boards throughout the globe at an outstanding price. I'll drop down the link to their website in the description below so be sure to check it out. So guys finally we have converted our bicycle into an electric one and we have had a lot of fun during that whole process. Now everything seems to work perfectly except of the fact that we are unable to drive the bicycle at full speed which is due to the excessive current draw caused by the inefficient brush motor. But we are definitely looking forward to improvise the overall design of the bicycle by using a brushless motor in our upcoming project so stay tuned for that.